Hi folks, Leanne here. Let's find an academic journal article in the JCTC Library databases. From the home page, we'll travel to the library by selecting Current Students. Then in the left-hand side of the page, you may need to scroll down, we'll select Library. We've entered the library on the left-hand side of the page. Let's select Articles. The article databases will appear in a list. We are looking for EBSCOhost. You may be prompted for your username and password. Enter your JCTC credentials and you'll be taken to this page. Select EBSCOhost Web. You'll be taken to a page that shows several sub databases from EBSCOhost. We're going to use the very first one. EBS Academic Search Complete. You'll arrive at this search page. Enter your keywords. I am, I am looking for the llama. Hit enter or click on search. Your results page will appear next. I have 2,363 items with the word llama in them. You can refine your results on the left-hand side of the page. I highly recommend it. I usually limit by full text, which means I can find the entire document online and access it that way, and I prefer that over having the library order it for me. I also like to narrow by publication date, looking for relatively new articles. Let's go within the past 15 years or so. We'll also want to make sure we narrow by source type. This database offers several different types of resources. We're looking for an academic journal article. You'll see now that my results have narrowed to 802. The more specific your keywords are, the more you can narrow your results to a manageable number. Scroll down the page, find an article that you like, or select other pages with other options available. Let's look at this one, the analysis of genetic diversity in Bolivian llama populations. You'll notice I can access the PDF full text from here, but allow me to show you what's inside when we click on the title of the article. Here I have a complete bibliographic record page. I can access the full text on the left hand side. The right hand side tools are what we'll be most excited about. We are looking for the button that says Cite. When you select Cite, a pop-up window will offer you the references, works cited, or bibliographic entry depending on your documentation style. We're looking for MLA, and here is what EBSCOhost recommends that we use. Please double check these entries before putting them in your paper. They're not always correct. You'll notice from this page a yellow box that says export to bibliographic management software. We are not using any bibliographic management software in this course, but as your research expands, you may find such tools useful. Your university may offer you the use of EndNote or RefWorks or one of the other here of management software programs for you to keep track of your research for any major projects you'll be doing. I want to show you. Zotero, Z-O-T-E-R-O. -E it's an open source bibliographic management software. It is free and I have downloaded and use that program to keep track of my sources. It also contains, others do too, but Zotero contains a Microsoft Word toolbar that allows me to insert my citations quickly and easily. And again, that's for future reference. Now you know how to find an academic journal article in EBSCOhost.